Hello everyone, this is Cadet Bischoff with Battalion 54, Oxnard College Regional Fire Academy. Today we're going to be talking about the Pickhead Axe, some of its uh, opportunities for use, the parts of the axe, maintenance, as well as specifications. And at the end of this video, we'll show you uh, an exciting way of breaching a wall. The Pickhead Axe is an important tool that you'll be using for the rest of your firefighting career. It's found on most apparatus, especially trucks and engines. And one reason that this tool is so important is because of its versatility. It can be used for cutting, prying, and even digging. The head of the Pickhead Axe comes in two different weights, six and eight pounds. Um, in this axe in particular, it's about a foot off the top of the head and then it's about five inches on the blade itself. Uh, going from top to bottom, it is about 32 inches with a fiberglass handle leading down to a rubber handle on the bottom a little less than 10 inches. Scene safety is always a number one priority on call. Ways that you don't want to carry the ax would be like this, over the shoulder, In any other way, that's pretty obvious with the pick facing forward. Uh, ways that you do want to carry the axe would be putting the blade itself underneath one of your arms, putting the handle down low, and grabbing the pick. And that way all the sharp parts of the tool itself are out of the way. And then uh, you can also use a scabbard on your waist. Now that I have my pickhead axe and my scabbard in a proper working area, all I need to do is don my SCBA and we'll get ready to breach a wall. Like I said earlier in this video, safety is the number one priority on any fire ground. So you're going to want to make sure that uh, your workspace is completely clear of non-essential personnel. And then as far as the axe goes, no need to take any big swings like you're chopping firewood. Uh, just keep it close to your body, short, tight, small swings, and uh, let the axe do the work for you. And now we will reach a wall. So first, I'm gonna make a purchase point on the wall with my pick head, and then I'm gonna follow that with my blade around in a big enough hole to get myself and my SCBA through. We will now be hoisting the pickhead axe from the ground level up to the second floor, simulating a roof. And this is a great operation 
when you need to bring tools up past the first ground level floor uh, fast. And usually that's on a burning residential, structure fire, or a commercial building. Clear below. Got it. So now we will be simulating a hoisting operation for the pickhead axe to bring it up from the ground level to the second floor. Um, for this particular tool, we're going to do a figure eight on a bite with two half hitches following. So right here we got the figure eights. You don't want it too tight, but you don't want it too loose either. Just enough to get head through and then you're going to want to snug that up flip it around and then I'm going to do my first half hitch the midway point of the handle just keeping the tension and I'm gonna do my second half hitch on the very top so this rope is holding complete control of the pickhead axe and then we have our line down here hoist Hoisting. Copy. This axe will perform based on how well you take care of it. And due to the fact that this is a fiberglass handle, you're going to want to wash it with a mild detergent and also check for tightness on the tool head itself. If this was a wooden handle, you'd want to inspect it for blisters, cracks, or splinters. And if you did find any of those, you'd want to sand it down and then wash it with uh, warm water and a mild detergent as well, making sure not to soak it. And then you can apply a coat of linseed oil on it to protect the outside. Moving to the tool head itself, we're gonna want to check the cutting edge for chips, cracks, or spurs. Uh, you can actually fix these problems by filing the cutting edge by hand. If the blade is extremely sharp and ground too thin, pieces of the blade may actually break off. And if the ax blade is too thick, then you can't get a proper cut on various items. Uh, as far as the polishing goes, you can use an emery cloth or steel wool to remove dirt or rust. And you can use a metal file to remove burrs from the cutting edge itself. All right, that concludes our presentation of the Pickhead Axe. I hope you all learned something valuable today. And I encourage every single one of you to go out and apply for a future spot in the Oxnard College Regional Fire Academy.